Hi, this is Jeff from Media, and today we're going to talk about MIDI Step Record in Avid Pro Tools. We're going to focus on MIDI Step Record. Where we go to find that is under the Event drop-down menu, and we go to Event Operations, and this is where you'll see a lot of other familiar functions such as Quantize and Transpose. That's what we use in Pro Tools for MIDI editing, and we're actually going to use some of them in the process of creating today. So we choose Step Input. You see we have different increments for whole note, half note, quarter note. If you don't know basic notation, you should at least kind of learn what these are, as well as what each one's note length is. In other words, how many beats does each type of note get? Now that we have the window open, let's first make sure to click the Enable button. And another important one to check is Enable Numeric Keypad Shortcuts. So what this lets you do is on your computer keyboard's Numeric Keypad, if you happen to have one, the 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight keys, all will choose different note values. Quite a useful feature to have at your fingertips. So now we're gonna go ahead and do a kick drum here, and we'll set that to quarter note in order to record some kick and snare drum hits. So now we'll go ahead and add a hi-hat track to the beat and we'll change the note value to eighth notes to reflect the rhythm that we want for the hi-hat. Now I wanna mention one additional thing before we do this hi-hat part, because we are now in fact overdubbing a new part on top of the kick and snare parts that we've previously recorded. And to do this, we need to actually go up here and click this little button next to the conductor and the metronome called MIDI Merge. This allows you to record on top of what you've already recorded. If you don't have that enabled, you're going to keep erasing what you just did, and it'll be very frustrating. So here we go. Now that I've created this drum beat using step input, I want to go and edit this down, because I'm just really not the greatest keyboard player. So I'm going to use some of the other operations available in Pro Tools for uh, MIDI editing. So I'm going to double click this MIDI clip. And now we have a bigger MIDI edit window to do what we have to do. We're done with step record for the moment. So we'll click off the enable button, uncheck that. Then we will select the change duration option. Because what I want to do now is shorten some of these notes that will give us a little more leeway as far as quantizing them and things like that. Now we'll actually go to quantize and we're going to do a little randomizing, a little bit of a swing and not full strength. We don't want hundred percent quantize. So you can see it's moved the notes a little bit. They're not all perfectly on the grid. They've got a little bit of a, a feel to them. And now we have a little groove to compose our next tracks to like the bass and the keyboards and guitars and so on. So this has been uh, just a little primer on MIDI Step Record. Pretty useful little way to get up and running with MIDI recording in Pro Tools for people who are not professional keyboard players and they just want to make music. Hope you enjoyed the video today. My name is Jeff. Thanks for stopping by.